so this is the next episode of how to play chess series okay so this time we're here uh, to sh uh, let me show you an England gambit and the Queen's gambit declined and accepted so okay the Queen's gambit declined is like uh, d4 d5 c4 e6 so they play e6 because they want to bring this uh, bishop out early but if they play c6 they want to uh, play bishop uh, like uh, g4 or f5 very soon they want to put this bishop uh, like on f5 and develop it very soon and so I um, I've heard that if the game went like this I'm not sure about this because I've heard this long time ago trade these pawns then this is better than uh, better for you when the light squared bishop is out but I'm not sure because I have heard this a long time ago so this is the Slav defense now um, they might play like this but you don't you don't have to take you can uh, develop normally or like um, if you want to develop like this or go for e5 e5 is a thing that I really like or go for knight to f6 d3 and bishop to g2 this is how you could play the slav defense or um, they might after knight to c6 play e6 a very strong strong barrier and they want to play this so at these times I'll play a3 to stop it and play b4 or I'll play e4 or here here or e even e3 or even takes takes I'll play all of these moves so they, they're kind of good in any way so a3 is good because it stops bishop to b4 and you will go uh, like if they like here you will now uh, you're now ready to play c5 which is a very very strong barrier and is uh, it's very hard for them to play because their position will be locked down so the best move for them is to take and pl uh, we're gonna play e4 and take back and this is a big uh, center as you see we'll control uh, not completely but almost every square and play e5 and control more squares but if they do it, oh wait, actually if they take uh, the game might go like uh, this. Now you're gonna play um, e5. Now if they move here, you're gonna just take easy, and if they move there, you're gonna still take with the queen. So they have to move here, or here, or back. So I'm not sure what is the best move. I I think the best move is here because after takes takes, uh, they don't have double pawns, and this is a pass pawn. This is completely a pass pawn. Now if this happens, you're gonna uh, you're gonna want to develop the dark squared bishop first and then play rook to c1, which stops any movement uh, for this pawn to push forward and a4 takes queen takes is check um block and then you're gonna play it play um like um queen to a2 i think or you might actually play queen to d1 mm -hmm. and uh right now uh is you could you actually need to develop this right here or here the, those are the good moves or um, after it like you might develop it right there and after oh, this bishop is stuck wow and you can play f4 uh, a, it will create it, it's gonna be like the bird bird opening uh, knight, to, uh, knight to f3 and g3 and bishop to g2 it's gonna be like the bird opening but yeah, this is the good way to play it and play work to c1 instead of f4. But if you want a good barrier and the f4 being open for you, 
you could play f4 as well and next move rook to c1 now now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you how to how to play against the queen's gambit except it first uh, first of all you're gonna play e4 some people play knight to c3 which is the best move but e4 will get the center will will get a big center very quickly so e4 is like this e4 will make the game like e4 e4 is like this and when they play this move you could uh, play a3 and there and take so kind of e4 is like kind of to take this uh, pawn back very quickly and they might go for defending the pawn and like yeah they cannot take so they have to play uh, c6 if they want to defend and then you could like go for this trade and take this back very quickly and e4 is good for like if knight to f6 attack it and have a have a upgraded pawns and and look at look at how much space you have you got and this is a, a good pawn structure a big center and two pawns in the center and controlling the center this is very good and play f4 knight to knight to f3 defending the pawn uh, the both pawns and f4 and bishop to e3 creating like like um creating this like crystal is this diamond like like yeah this like square thingy square but in some other ways square thingy and this is very good but if the if a pawn is on e3 this will that will be so much better so yeah this is how you play the queen's gambit except it so but we have uh, instead of e4 playing knight to c3 instead of e4 now um they might go for, like e5 stuff for takes take and trade of the tra trading the queen very quickly because they have the both bishops they could uh, the both bishops for them are opened but one of them for you is not and your knight four pieces is not developed and is their move so uh, three pieces for them will not be developed but four pieces for you will not be developed so yeah so kinda is good to when they play e5 just actually play e3 takes takes what will happen check block with the bishop then play knight to f6 f3 and castle giving a check is not that scary and you could actually bishop uh, block with bishop to e3 and take the pawn if you want but the most common ways to play the queen's gambit except is, is like um, if they take you're gonna play this move and if they take or wait actually actually if they take play this move you know what if they take you're gonna take ruining their castling they cannot castle anymore but you can so yeah you have to play knight to e2 at that time because if you play knight to f6 is gonna be check first and you could take yeah but to the queen being out early is not good everyone every top players uh, say that like gotham chess hikaru or eric rosen yeah the queen being out early is not good so yeah that's why i prefer to go knight to e2 and it will develop the bishop yeah it will develop the bishop too and then castle in the next move um but if you go knight to f3 uh, you still have a move that you need to play then castle so yeah that's why i like to go knight to e2 but the most common ways uh when this is like the game like they will play like something like 
um, automatically take something like this and they might play like uh, something like this and after this the game is game is for you and they might even play something like queen to d7 or e e6 and takes look, look at this these two pawns they they control all of these squares with the help of the knight the bishop and the knight and the bishop and the queen i mean not this knight because it's pinned to the king yeah mm -hmm. so yeah this is how to play the queen's gambit accepted now we're gonna go for uh blacks blacks thing persuasion nah, i don't know blacks how see these games now this is how you have to defend the queen's gambit accepted with black now d5 c4 like i myself i really like to take after they play knight to c3 i like to play knight to f6 and g g6 and bishop to g7 and <coughs> that's not all i always play the england gambit which i'm gonna show you against the queen's gambit but if i play like this and they played like this i really don't like this position so i might play the key uh, the um the england gambit yeah and I might actually play the names of Indian defense and like this so so yeah I really like to play the so e6 is like to play like a uh, like put the position like if it was a French defense to play d5 and there is you play e6 not to develop this bishop the dark square bishop you want to put the dark square bishop on g7 you play e6 to play d5 get a get a control and you're, you're gonna play like this and and after this they might think that they could take but actually they don't think that after takes takes here the only move is this and takes takes they they can't castle but you can't castle too so yeah and this side is very very good but they could put all those two pawns in the center so i don't think this is a good way to play but yeah so yeah you go for I, i'll i'll play like this g3 and they might play even this but if they even play a uh, bishop to g5 i'm gonna play a uh, bishop to g7 defending it defending the knight then playing this move so yeah, so this is the Nimzo Indian defense. Play e6, or you could even play this, this, and oh, uh, g6, bishop to g, bishop to g7, then e6. But okay, but if you like to play the the, the queen's gambit, so here. So now, if you want to play the queen's gambit, accepted. I will prefer to play knight to um, f6, but we have this move. And they will always push. Is uh, they will get a big. Uh, they will control more, uh, more, more squares, and they will waste one of your moves uh, to rotate back or rotate here. They will waste a move for you instead of developing. You have to waste a move for moving this knight. So knight to c6 is not that good, but knight to f6 it is. It is very good. If they even if even if they want to play like that, you just want to play this move. Play like this. F F three is not a good move because it will block the knight. So they might play like trade. Right now you could take the pawn for free. Even if they play this, this is not scary. Just play here, trade. And how will they win this pawn back? And e6 developing the bishop, how will they win this pawn back? Unless they might go here and here. And there is no way for them to win this pawn back. 
unless if they play like this but right now you could play even like this and you will win a pawn and give a pawn or um, you might actually play like this uh, yeah you might actually you could play like this but now let's go for the queen's gambit declined now the queen's gambit declined e oh wait e6 so e6 leads to if they're like below 800 leads to takes takes i always do this when they play e6 takes takes because the king will be opened and the c file will be opened for me if i might if you see the king is open for them and the c file is open for me so that's why i'll play takes takes and um so yeah so but they want to play this move to add pressure now you could take your choice but i won't i'll play pin they might play like this they might play like that so when i play pin after um a3 i'll play takes only move they have a you have to play takes or as you see your your bishop will get trapped yeah it will get trapped or you have to move back or takes is better it will they will have double fun yeah okay you gave the bishop for a knight but you had to do that like and bishop to uh, d6 is not actually that bad it will control a lot of squares by met with c5 and you need to rotate again you need to move back again and then they will they, your position is locked down like well you're gonna play like this play like that so what uh, at, at that time that you have played like um, uh, oh wait is there move yeah at that time that you have played like um, that like if you if we say you'll take back with the c pawn yeah look at their position and look at your position or even if you take back with the a pawn it's still the same look at their position and look at your position you're completely lost so yeah you should yeah, you should not play um, um, e6. Kind of. I mean, if they will, if they go solid, you could play e6. And if they play like this, you could. Why not? You could play e6. You could play and bishop to d7. But at these positions, I like to put my bishop on b7. It's a. It's diagonal. It will be very, very, um, very, very. That diagonal will be very very um uh wait what is the uh, what is the uh, word yeah it's gonna be very very strong i mean if if uh, if blacks uh black does that they will they will re really win the game it's very easy to win the game if you play bishop to b7 because they're not gonna castle this way think they're not gonna castle this way the C file is open. They will never castle that way, unless the G, they don't have the G or H, um, H pawns and F. They will hundred percent castle this way. So bishop to B seven and B six bishop to B seven is really good, but sometimes uh, beginners and intermediate players, some advanced player like to play bishop to D seven. And it's not it's not that bad, but like after like e uh, e three bishop to d seven here and castles, yeah 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 oof 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 oof, oof. that bishop, and that bishop is not giving us a that bishop is giving us a nightmare. Look at that. 
Yeah, so knight to e4 is a move that I like to play. Takes, takes. And if bishop takes, 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 takes. So they cannot take back the knight first. They have to take the bishop first. And after takes, takes, takes. You could play a five. After moves back, rook to f6 or even e5. e5 is a very good move, very strong. Yeah. But if they take back, now is when e5 gets weak. If they take back, after takes, they might play this move. Very good move. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, I calculated wrong. I thought that the bishop will not be there so they could win this off the takes. Yeah, so I calculated wrong. So yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So e5 is a very good move off the takes, takes here, here. Very good move. But they might play this move, but you, you should not be scared. Takes, takes. No point of being scared. And king to h1, easy. Oh, we played thousand moves. <laughs> oh, wait. oh, what was that? Okay, now let's play the Slav defense. So this is when they. No, nah, I mean you like to play bishop to g4, f5. You like kind of you like to put the. Uh, bring the light squared bishop early. Bring out the light uh, light squared bishop early. But some people play like this to play e6. I don't know why. But if I was you, I would have played this move. I told you that that move is good, but I have learned it a long time ago, so I'm not sure if it's good still. Like this move is very good very common now you could go for like kind of panziani instead of being white being black pan a uh, panziani uh but oh wait not not that move here here knight to d7 is a very good move instead of knight to f6 like actually they're bo both like equal for me but not for stockish for me and you kind of have to play e6 at future because you need to you need to bring this bishop out you or you have to play g6 so yeah and the the game might continue like um this g6 this move is a very very good move very good move play uh, play knight to e4 at this time because you're gonna develop the queen for them so play knight here takes 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 and they need to waste a move to move the knight so after takes if they take back do not take the queen do not take the queen they won't let you castle anymore do not take the queen. Let them take the queen and put your rook on d8. Play bishop to g7 and takes, takes. Now this file is yours. Yeah. <laughs> and f takes, takes. Or you might castle then play f6 and take back with the rook. So yeah, let's now let me show you a trap when you're playing with um, white. That is the England gambit trap. Yeah, I know I've I've teach you guys this trap for a thousand times. Now e5. This is this is what it, when any time that white plays d4, I'll go for this trap. I don't care if it works. I don't care if they go d d5. I just go for it. And after takes here, 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 here. And I 
actually had a game like this that they played knight to c3 which the evaluation bar went for black black it was like minus one minus two now the best move actually is i mean that might be the best move i'm not sure i think the best move actually is um queen to d2 after takes you're gonna play here and the queen um the queen cannot take this but and he's not checkmate because of the bishop that's why queen to d2 is the best move i mean i'm not sure but i think it's the best move oh wait he's like oh 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 think trust the long diagonals i did not trust that for one second yeah so yeah so that's why the queen d2 is not good too so i think just the only best one is knight i mean bishop back takes some people against me play knight to um c3 which is not uh, that good or bad and i play still i i still play bishop to b4 and if here i'll just play this move if here i'll play here this is nothing scary for me because because i i actually when i play in real life i sometimes i ask someone near me to, do i should i sack 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 the queen or not by sack i mean sacrifice sacrifice the queen or not then i say yes and i will actually do it and i'll win the game sometimes not all the times when i play with magnus skulls and not all the times <laughs> So yeah, this is the trap, and the trap goes like um, this, um, and they might take, they might take, but they might play this move, which is a common move, and if takes, if takes, check mate, but if takes, no wait, if takes, takes here, here. Last time when I, t uh, when I uh, upload the video, I played this move. That was a mouse slip. That was a mouse slip. And this is not checkmate because of this. That was a mouse slip that I did. But, and you. And they might take back with the king, which is not a very good move because they will lose their right to castle. And they might have to take back with the knight. Yeah. I mean, they would, uh, they would, after this, they would have a move or, not e3, center, center first. They will have a move or two to try to develop faster than us. Yeah, they, they will 100% develop faster than us. And then, and you cannot castle, so you have to uh, play, um, uh, oh, is they moved, like, they castle. Uh, play bishop to d7 and castle long and send a big launch a big attack on that king side so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned something from this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next episode